Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Code Logic. So today we are going to see how we can develop the faculty management system. So in our previous videos, we have seen the uh, admin login and the uh, how to add a new faculties, get list of faculties, and also uh, we tried that uh, editing of faculty details. So in this video, we are going to see how we can delete a faculty. So uh, if you are new here, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, if you have not our, watched our previous videos, then uh, I'll request you to watch that videos first. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, first thing, uh, we'll develop a new API here to delete the faculty. So, uh, this API will be uh, similar to update faculty. So, we'll just copy paste that and we'll uh, We'll do some modifications so we'll copy this update faculty api we'll paste it here first thing we'll remove this object then uh, we'll change api put to delete and then uh, in line number 83 for we'll change faculty dot find by id and remove we don't need these parameters now set and new parameters so yeah that's it our API is ready now we'll go inside our front end and we'll go inside our service admin data service here we'll write a new method delete faculty which will take argument as a ID which is of type string and observable of type faculty return HTTP dot delete and we'll pass the data URL with ID okay now we'll go inside our faculty dot ts file here we'll write a new method delete faculty this method will take parameter as a faculty of type faculty okay now we'll uh, give alert message to check whether user really wants to delete the faculty and to do that we'll use windows.confirm and we'll uh, set a message there are you sure you want to delete this faculty and we'll add its name also we can get the name by faculty dot faculty name and if user says yes or clicks on ok button then uh, we are going to delete that faculty and to do that we'll use data service dot delete faculty method and we'll pass faculty dot id and we'll subscribe to this method and we'll check for results and errors so if there are errors then we are just printing a message in developers window error occurred while deleting the faculty otherwise we'll just print a message there in developer window using console faculty deleted successfully and we are going to call the ng on init method to fetch all the faculty details again okay now uh, we are going to call this method from our HTML and to do that we'll find the uh, delete button and we'll here update a click event and on click of that button we are going to call this delete faculty method and will pass faculty object which we are getting from the ng for loop okay that's it 
uh, we'll see the demo suppose we want to delete this second number then if you click on delete it will ask and if you click OK then that entry will be deleted okay so yeah that's it for the video guys if you have any doubts or suggestions you can contact us on our code logic instagram page thank you for watching the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye